Hi guys. Well, I've just finished episode four of Lost in Space. Uh, I think that's actually where I might leave it for tonight. I uh, we'll see. Maybe I'll uh, maybe I'll, I'll uh, keep watching. I don't know. Uh, I might leave it for tomorrow. Um, I think I've got a good grip on what this show is now. Uh, I th I think after four episodes, uh, particularly after episode three as well, uh, I think my feeling towards the show is that it's less of a a uh, dramatic sci-fi show and more of a uh, a bit more tongue-in-cheek than you know it's got its drama and it, which is fine but I think the 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 show itself like you've you've got to make certain buy-ins to accept this show and um, this this is all sort of they they're trying to do everything. You know, the, at this moment in time, they've got one planet, they've got this, this big story, they've got all this stuff going on. But they, 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 they seem to be using it to try, try to do everything. And uh, it does make it a little bit cheesy. But there's nothing wrong with it. There's nothing wrong with it, with the, the, the tone of the show, you know. There are many shows that I, sci-fi shows that I love, like Doctor Who, that, that do this. That, that, you know, you have to just, just accept this sort of situation. I mean... It's doing it well. That's the that's the good thing is that it is doing it very very well. But it feels like I was trying to I was trying to sort of think about you know something that I would equate the, this show to, and I suddenly realised that it was when I saw the robot in this episode. And I was it was like you know he's like some sort of like samurai Robocop in style. Um, which is a, a quite a cool look, but it, it 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 triggered something when I started thinking RoboCop, and of course it was like no, it's his his face, you know his face reminds me of the control thing from uh, Flight of the Navigator, and suddenly it was like this would actually work if he was in the same sort of universe as Flight of the Navigator, wouldn't it? <laughs> And then I realised then it's that sort of 80s, it's got that 80s sort of uh, sci-fi element feel to it. It is it's very much in the same sort of tone as something like Flight of the Navigator, you know. You've got these situations that are serious and and, and so on, but the actual, uh, the actual tone of it is more of a an, an action sci-fi levity of that, of that time, you know. Uh, and then, of course, it, it, it's a mishmash of stuff. And, of course, with episode four now as well, uh, episode four, much more of a slower pace, because, obviously, episode three was the sort of the big sort of uh, hoo hoopla. Uh, and episode three was much more of a let, let's just go on a little bit of a journey uh, with the kids. And, they, you know, they, as a writing trope, usually you divide people up and you... Put, put people in one situation, you put these people in another situation. Um, when the dish, because uh, the parents were, were went to find the re uh, wreck of the Resolute, and we, <laughs> they get out and, and they, they, they buy that giant dish, and as she's sitting there going, I wouldn't really sit there if I were you. That could just fall over at any second, and of course. Uh, but they, they didn't, they actually... It was like they, they've they looked at, at films like Prometheus and so on and have gone, let's, let's do that, but let's do it the correct way, you know? Uh, the, the, the Prometheus school of escaping uh, didn't, uh, didn't reach the people at Lost in Space. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm really enjoying it. It's, it's... It's not taking itself so seriously that there are, there are going to be times when you're going, oh, come on, give me a break. Uh, and, then, and then there are other times then where you're going, ooh, this is interesting. And that's what the show should be. It sh shouldn't be so, you know, just, just all about the drama. And uh, I, I like it. I like the, the balance that it's striking. Um... I, I again. I wish we would know a little bit more about what's going on. I, I mean, I've, I've got a feeling that they're going to tell us. That's, I don't think 
that uh, they're going to keep you from us. But I would like to find out what's going on with on the re what happened on the Resolute, um, and of co of course what's going on with the robot as well. I like the fact that th that the show is letting us build our confidence with the robot at the same time as you know like Judy. You know, we 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 sure that there's something that this robot did something bad, and we don't know why. Um, and you know, clearly the thing is dangerous. But our confidence as an audience, they are letting us see it from the, the Robinsons' point of view, so that we get to uh, build with it as well. Um, Park opposes Doctor Smith in this. A little bit sort of just sort of standing back she seems to be observing a lot of what's going on and not really saying a lot so it's difficult to judge um, and of course obviously you know if you're doing a sci-fi show you've got to have uh, flying glowing space jellyfish Th that was weird to me. That was weird. But again, it's one of those things. This planet can do anything. You know, it's... It, I got a feeling at some point this planet is going to be like, well, you know, we're in orbit of a red star and it's going to explode and it's going to kill us and we can't stay. Um, and I think there's going to be some sort of conflict as well later on. I, I, like, I, I had a guess. I would say if I was making this... Show at at some point there's going to be some sort of conflict between the Robinsons and the other colonists that is going to uh, you know the, it, it's going to come to a head. There's if I was writing it that's what I would do. I I would certainly not necessarily for a um a power thing a power struggle, but uh, certainly to show that you know these people are going to make a decision. And the Robinsons are going to be like, you know, I don't think that's the right manoeuvre. We need to actually get out of here. And it's going to draw in some sort of conflict. Um, I, you know, that's just sort of the way dramas are written, really. And um, I've, I've got a feeling, you know, that gun, that gun is going to come into play. We still don't know who printed the gun. I think people think that the robot did it. Um... But I'm I, I I maybe maybe it's 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 not a huge thing if the but it, I I personally would have a little twist there. I would put it that the robot didn't print it, um, and that that it was it actually was somebody else, um, possibly Judy, uh, because she doesn't trust the robot. So that's that's something I would write in. Um, but yes, uh, episode four, much slower paced show. Uh, which I was expecting following episode three, um, just just enjoying it. It's got that sort of tone of, um, it's like, do you remember the movie Stand by Me? You know those sort of eighties, uh, kid shows, the the kid movies, the sort of teen movies. The what's the what's the term? It's that sort of teeny, sort of. Uh, Movies that that come out at the, around all those time, um, it's got that sort of tone to it, and uh, I think this show can go anywhere and do anything right now. Uh, I'm enjoying it a lot, and considering I'm not feeling too well, uh, it's it's uh, helping keep my spirits up. Anyway, I, like I said, I don't know if I'm gonna watch any more today. Uh, I might do uh, another one, maybe I don't know, maybe later on. But I'm gonna take a break for now at least. Um, and maybe I'll carry on watching it tomorrow. But anyway, I thought episode 4 was good to give us some uh, good backstory on uh, some of the characters. It was uh, nothing nothing major, no huge, you know, bombshells on, on characters. But it, it, it helped add to the complexity of the situation. And uh, I thought it was, a, it was a nice little sort of mellow-paced episode. Anyway, that's what I thought of episode 4 of Lost in Space.